I would love for both of you, Terry and Al, to just share with us what key advice would you give your younger self about saving and investing now that you know what you know? So, you know, listening to Al, I would have started younger. <laughs> you know, the power of compounding. Um, uh, so that that's one advice I would give is to start, uh, start young. And I would have started younger. Um, the second uh, advice I would give to myself is, is to not feel bad uh, for not following the herd. You know, so, you know, I had friends that got out of school and bought new cars and, you know, did a lot of things that I didn't do. I didn't own my first car until I was in my 30s. And, you know, so I, I would, um, I would really not beat up on myself as much uh, when I was younger, that I wasn't able to do all the things, you know, travel that a lot of my friends uh, did. Um, instead, I, you know, I worked hard. I did save, um, although not as early as I would have liked. Um, and then I ended up buying a bank. So, you know, it's like, um, so you, you, you have, um, you, you have to feel comfortable. And I, I would have felt more comfortable, um, you know, not, not following the herd. Thank you, Terry. That is, uh, that's the advice I would give myself to start <laughs> earlier, <laughs> especially in the 401k and that power of compounding. Yeah. And Al, what about you? Yes, I, I totally cannot disagree with Terry because that is a very sage advice uh, for sure. I did make the mistake of buying a car right out of college and I wish I had that $600 for the first couple of years or I would have put it in my uh, retirement account. So Terry, you're absolutely, absolutely correct. I would also advise my younger self to consider you know, four key concepts on how to start investing. Uh, first, I would think about how long I plan uh, to stay invested what my financial needs are, what my goals are, how much uh, risk I can um, tolerate and changes in uh, my portfolio value. Second, I will consider how much of my investment mix should be in different asset classes. As um, you mentioned earlier, uh, Bola, the, the importance of diversification is key to any uh, uh, goal-driven financial uh, plan. Third, I would ensure uh, that I work with a financial advisor, even though I'm in my business uh, myself, because that will take the emotions out of the investing. And um, I now work with a financial advisor myself, even though I've been in the business for 36 years, because we are emotional beings. And even though I know the, the, the numbers uh, back and forth, my advisor always checks me in terms of staying the course. So that's extremely important. And, um, you know, finally, Again, repeating myself, as Terry stated, and you stated as well, Bola, find a financial advisor, work with that financial advisor. They can help you synthesize your goals uh, to make sure your plan is holistic. It is not myopic, and it's based on several long-term uh, goals that you will have as you go through your wealth journey be it saving uh, for college uh, for your children, be it buying that first home, uh, be it uh, buying your vacation or rental home, and be it retirement, and be it living in retirement as well, because that's an important uh, concept to uh, understand as well. Yeah, thank you, Al. Thank you, Terry, for sharing. And this is almost like a blueprint that you can now take and go and act on right now based on the experiences of others. So I definitely encourage you to think about those lessons that Terry shared, Al shared, I just shared, and think about what can I do now based on the advice that they said they would give their younger self.